I'm going to ask you to open up your Bibles to the book of Genesis. If you find your place, or as you find your place, what I want to do is just rewind and review a little bit. We've been talking about the fact, amen, that there is, hallelujah, a pragmatic reason for the promises that God gives us, amen? Hallelujah. The promise is to give us hope, something to look forward to, a confident, favorable expectation. Amen. Hallelujah. A desired hope. Hallelujah. And the promise is mandatory. A decision of faith must be made and a determination of patience must be maintained if we're going to enter into what God has promised. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's pragmatic reason for the promise, and there's a purpose, hallelujah, for the prophetic. Amen. We discover that some things won't happen if they're not prophesied, preached, prayed, hallelujah, and participated in. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants you to be a participant in your own deliverance, hallelujah, as you obey what he says, hallelujah, and you believe what he prophesied. And what I'm going to read to you today is both a prophecy and a promise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. It says this. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. This is God talking to the devil. And between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head. And thou shalt bruise his heel. We see here a prophetic statement where after Satan had deceived Eve into believing that she needed to do something to be who she already was. And after he had tricked Adam out of the birthright, hallelujah, of being blessed fruitful, multiply, to replenish, subdue, and have dominion, God says, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cause the seed of the woman to bruise your head, and that's a promise. I'm going to send my son in the form, hallelujah, of a child to be born, and he's going to bruise your head. I promise you, Christmas is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of our life-changing King, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And as you know, that's what we celebrate in the church. Hallelujah. On Christmas, we're celebrating the fact that Jesus Christ was born. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Born of a virgin to live a sinless life, to die on a cross as a sinless sacrifice to save us when we were lost. Amen. Hallelujah. And that birth of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, was both a prophecy when God said it and a promise. It's a promise, hallelujah, that God says, I'm going to cause everything that I had planned for man to come to pass by bringing my son, amen, hallelujah, the birth of Jesus Christ. I, I know you know the birth of Jesus Christ is not about gifts. I mean, uh, Christmas is not about gifts. It's not about Cards. It's not about the things that we often celebrate. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's not in boxes, bags, or tags. Mm. <laughs> it could be, maybe, that Christmas is much, much more. It's the birth mm. of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when God told Satan that I'm going to bring a seed through the woman that will bruise your head mm. and have you under his feet, mm. it was both a prophecy and a promise. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go somewhere. Let's go to Romans chapter 5, verse 19. If you can give me a little more microphone ringing, that'll be great. I want people to hear this. 
that if you don't have nothing under the tree, hallelujah, you have a sinless Savior that was born on Christmas Day, hallelujah, to die on a tree, hallelujah. You have what you need for Christmas, amen, hallelujah. And you need to know, hallelujah, that Christmas is coming, hallelujah, not just the day December 25th, but the arrival, hallelujah, of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, with the answer to your prayer and whatever it is that you need to succeed, Christmas is on the way. All right. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. This is what it says in Romans chapter 5, verse 19. It says, well, for as by one man's disobedience, we're talking about Adam, many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one, hallelujah, the one who decided, hallelujah, and said, Prepare for me a body and I'll go. I'm talking about Jesus. By the obedience of one, so shall many be made righteous. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 2 says, For there is one man, mm -hmm. one mediator yes, yes. that stands between God and man mm. is the man Christ Jesus. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christmas is not about Santa Claus. Christmas is not about shopping. Christmas is not about the things that we usually celebrate on Christmas. It's about the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And see, that will free you to be able to then enjoy the things that the festivities of Christmas bring. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. If you don't amalgamate them but separate them, hallelujah, you don't have to try to pretend like Santa Claus is God somehow. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I know they said he sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> he knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good, so... Be good for them to say. That's what we come to believe about Santa. But the holiday is not about a make-believe character. It's about a real God. Amen. It's not about a fictional character that gives gifts. It's about a real God. Hallelujah. That gave the perfect gift of his son. And see, we got to realize, amen, hallelujah, that our belief in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, and our belief in what, hallelujah, was prophesied about the Messiah, that's what's going to determine what kind of Christmas we have. Amen. Amen. amen? amen. Let's go somewhere. Let's go to Isaiah. One thing that they do get right on the cartoons oftentimes is that it seems like Santa's powers don't work if people don't believe. Well, guess what? What God has done for you, it won't work for you if you don't believe. Christmas came. Yeah. Hallelujah. 2,000 years ago when Jesus Christ was born, but in order for it, hallelujah, to benefit you, you've got to believe, hallelujah, in the sinless Savior that was sent for you. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 through 9, 7 says this. But before I say that, Isaiah is often called the fifth gospel. Because Isaiah prophesied the coming of the Christ in a manner it's almost like he was telling history. The prophecy became history as it came to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 and 7 says, For unto us a child is born. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. And unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, hallelujah, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it to with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. 
the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I told you guys that it's a promise. Hallelujah. I will perform this. Hallelujah. I will send, hallelujah, a child to be born. Hallelujah. I will send my son to be given. Hallelujah. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. Hallelujah. The government of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Because he's the king of kings. Hallelujah. He's the king of everything. Hallelujah. And in order for you to benefit from what Jesus Christ has done for you, you've got to believe. Hallelujah. He is the king of the kingdom. Yes. Amen. 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 Isaiah chapter 53. I want you to see, hallelujah, that Isaiah prophesied, hallelujah, a coming Christ, hallelujah, to let you know, hallelujah, that Christmas is coming. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, we know exactly when Jesus Christ died. But we don't know exactly when he was born. Mm -hmm. I will let you know it wasn't December 25th. Amen. Come on here. It wasn't December 25th. December 25th was Nimrod's birthday. Mm -hmm. Nimrod, I can say, is the, probably the father of religion. Religion tries to reach up to God. So it's fitting that we would take this day and snatch it out of the hands of the devil, hallelujah, out of the worship of Nimrod, hallelujah, where they tried to build a tower to reach heaven, hallelujah, and celebrate, hallelujah, a God who loves us so much that he reached down for us. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. And I believe it's fitting that we don't know exactly when he was born, amen, hallelujah, because it, just because he was born, it doesn't benefit you until you believe it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You get to determine, yes. hallelujah, when Christmas comes for you. Yes. Amen? Yes. That's good. Yes. Hallelujah. Just because yes. he said it doesn't mean it works for you. You got to believe it for yourself. Yes. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You established the date. You set the time. Yeah. Hallelujah. You cause the things that God has promised you to start to work in your life when you believe it. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's no different than with the, with the disciples where it was Peter who first said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. It wasn't until after he rose from the dead that Thomas caught on, hallelujah, and caught the vision of the fact, hallelujah, and said, my Lord and my God, when Jesus said, put your hands in my hands. Yeah. Touch the holes. Mm. Feel my side. Yeah. Don't leave here unbelieving. Mm. Hallelujah. As we enter the Christmas season, hallelujah, and we enter the hustle and bustle of buying and shopping, hallelujah, giving and receiving, giving and giving, hallelujah, don't leave here unbelieving in the fact that Jesus is the real reason for the season. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1, hallelujah. And then I'll jump down from verse 1 and verse 4, hallelujah, for the brevity of time. It says, who hath believed our report? Yes. See, it's not going to work for you till you believe it. Yes. If the prophecy, hallelujah, of the coming king, hallelujah, is not going to work for you till you believe it. Hallelujah. Who hath believed our report? And to whom shall the arm of the Lord be revealed? The arm of the Lord is revealed to those that believe his report. And verse 4 says, surely, surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And it was by his 
stripes that we are healed. Hallelujah. Tell somebody he did it for me. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ left his home, hallelujah, in eternity, hallelujah, to take on the form of a frail baby. He did it for me. Hallelujah. He was born in a place called Bethlehem. Amen. Hallelujah. Lived in a an area where somebody said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Come out of Nazareth. He did it for me. He did it for me. If I don't have nothing under the tree, hallelujah, Jesus Christ did it for me. And the more I believe of what was prophesied about the Messiah, the more it benefits me. It says, we just read it, that he was wounded for my transgressions. Amen. That means every one of my sins, past, present, and future, hallelujah, is paid for. Thank you, Lord. That's a Christmas gift you can buy. Amen. <laughs> It says he was bruised for my iniquities. Iniquities are the sins within me. Hallelujah. The sins that other people can't see. Hallelujah. The things that I think, the things that I desire. Hallelujah. The things, hallelujah, that haven't even become outward sin yet. Hallelujah. My Bible says Jesus Christ came to deal with me internally and even fix my iniquities. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. The chastisement of my peace is upon him. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he came to, he came to earth to give me peace. The Bible says that when the angels came and heralded his arrival, it says they sang glory to God mm -hmm. in the highest. Yeah. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And see, many people look at the world and say, well, there's no peace. See, the peace, like I said, it's an individual thing. Jesus Christ came to earth to give me peace internally, individually. Amen? Amen. John Lennon said there's no goodwill toward men. So this is Christmas. Jesus. Jesus. And what have we done? Mm is the song that he sings. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We turn it off every time he comes on. We do. <laughs> because he doesn't understand, hallelujah, hallelujah that the world is going to get darker, but the church is going to grow brighter, hallelujah, as we realize, hallelujah, that Jesus is the reason for every season, hallelujah, and he gives me peace. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. And by his stripes I'm healed. So I gotta realize what came along with the salvation package. When the word of God took on frail flesh and became a baby just for me, it wasn't just to change my destiny for eternity. But it was to give me, hallelujah, everlasting life that starts in this life. Yeah. Including, hallelujah, what he says, by his stripes, I'm healed. Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's part of the Christmas gift God gave to me. Hallelujah. So not only can I say Christmas is coming, Christmas is here. Hallelujah. I got everything I need for Christmas. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Isaiah chapter 59. Who shall believe his report? And to whom will the arm of the Lord be revealed? The arm of the Lord is revealed to those of us that believe his report and believe that Jesus Christ is everything I need. Isaiah chapter 59. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. Hallelujah. Tell somebody the Redeemer came. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. Christmas has come. The Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is God talking to you. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, talking to Isaiah, and my words which I put in thy mouth, the prophecies, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. Hallelujah. The prophecy that I give to you. Hallelujah. Keep on saying it. Keep on expecting it. Keep on believing. Everything I prophesied is coming. Hallelujah. Christmas is coming. And hallelujah. Because I've decided I believe it right now. Hallelujah. I'm going to say Christmas is here. Christmas is here. Hallelujah. 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 Christmas is here. I believe, hallelujah, the prophecies that were given to Isaiah as the fifth gospel. Hallelujah. About the coming Christ and the birth of Jesus on Christmas. One more verse of scripture. Isaiah chapter 61. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yeah. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. Amen. In the New Testament it says the poor. Hallelujah. If you believe that Jesus Christ is everything you need, then you know that the gospel is preached so that you don't have to be poor no more. Amen. 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 He had sent me to bind up the broken hearted. Hallelujah. If you are broken hearted, hallelujah, God has sent, hallelujah, the healer to come in and mend your broken heart. Yeah. To proclaim the liberty, hallelujah, to the captives, amen, hallelujah. If you're bound, hallelujah, restricted, held captive, hallelujah, whether it be by death or by drugs, alcohol, sex, and pornography, whatever it is that has you bound, hallelujah, what is under the tree for you, hallelujah, in the Lord Jesus Christ is liberty for what is holding you, hallelujah. The opening of the prisons to them that are bound. You don't have to be imprisoned. You can be free, set free, hallelujah, by the liberty of the Savior that was sent for you and me. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. See, it's not yours until you proclaim it. Some things won't come to pass until you prophesy, preach them, pray them, hallelujah, and participate in them, amen, hallelujah, because you believe it. You got to proclaim that this is the acceptable year of the Lord. You gotta proclaim, hallelujah, that Christmas has come for me. You gotta proclaim, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ's birth, hallelujah, was the beginning, hallelujah, of a new way of living for me. All I had to do was receive it. All I gotta do is believe it. 
hallelujah, and the birth of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, as the sinless sacrifice becomes the beginning of my eternal life, the Zoe kind of life. The kind of life that lives above the common fray of everyday negativity. The kind of life, hallelujah, that lives above the circumstances. The kind of life, hallelujah, that has joy, hallelujah, no matter what the circumstances, hallelujah, and it's not dependent upon what somebody buys for me. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And I haven't forgot where we started. And the day of vengeance of our God. Remember this started when Satan thought he won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when Satan thought he had stripped man, hallelujah, of the rights and privileges and benefits that were given, hallelujah. But God told him, hallelujah, God told him way back then what he was about to do, hallelujah, 2,000 years ago and is still working for you, hallelujah. He said the seed of the woman would bruise the serpent's head. Yeah. Hallelujah. Prophetically saying that Jesus Christ would be born. Christmas has come. And Christmas is here. Amen. Hallelujah. And there ain't a thing the devil can do about it. Amen. For the day of vengeance of God, hallelujah, has come Amen. to comfort all that are going through all that more. Anybody that's going through, comfort with these words, hallelujah. Yes. Jesus Christ came for you. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ came for you. Christmas is not about gifts. It's not about Santa. It's not about getting or even giving. It's about receiving the sinless sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. It comes without ribbons. It comes without bows. It comes without tags. It comes without boxes or bags. Because Christmas is not about what you buy in the store. <coughs> the birth of Jesus Christ is so much more. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you. We thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father, for reminding us of the real reason for the season. Yes, yes. And if we don't try to keep up with the fallacies and the falsehoods of Santa Claus, we all have to drive ourselves deeper in debt to pay for things, hallelujah, trying to uphold a lie that's been told for centuries. We can enjoy Christ yes. and we can still enjoy the festivities of Christmas. Yes. Knowing that the real gift yes. is not under the tree, no, no. but he was born to die on a tree. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Bring your vision board back to life with the Vision Workbook. Available now. Contact the Ornament of Grace Christian Center at 913 240 62 62. What's up, y'all? It's Royal Gatto with Royal. Thoughts Publishing Company, and I would like to introduce to you my first author, Pastor Jerry Gatson. Our success is not measured in an objective, mm -hmm. 
And our success is measured in did we continue? Absolutely. Did we do the will? Are we finishing the work? Mm -hmm. Are we continuing what God told us to do? Absolutely. Whatever it is that you feel like God told you to do, stay with it. Don't quit it. Continue. Because mm -hmm. God will be glorified in the end. Absolutely.